Are you worried about James Tedesco? So he had well, that concussion, failed his HIA, but the history that he has, because I think they were saying that this could be maybe potentially his 10th. You need to speak to James. Mm. I spoke to him yesterday. Yeah. He said he felt, he felt, felt OK. Mm. So he said, mm. I, want to talk to, I want you to talk through this, Bill, about tackling techniques. Well, well we've, we've discussed this a few times on, on this show, actually. Like, you, you've got one player going straight down the sideline and he's 110 kilos, Viliama Kikau, going at top speed. And then James Tedesco is coming across at a 90-degree angle and you want him to make a conventional tackle. That, 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 is, that is not easy to do. So and that was tough too because actually Viliami had room to move infield, didn't he? Like a lot of times... When they change yeah, the direction... a lot of direction. times you can only when, go when to the corner. We're talking in try-scoring situations when the bunker or the referees are saying, you've got to make a conventional tackle and mm. sprint and put your arms around. Mm. He did that then. Yeah. Psst, go on, skip. That's a vulnerable position to put yourself in uh, and it's the correct one by the rules... It's nearly the only tackle that James is allowed to make. Mm. Um, so it's, it's, it's a tough one because I've been in that situation and that's a really uncomfortable spot to be in, trust me. When you've got a 110 kilo flying athlete come down the and, and he changes his direction right at that last minute. Well, what would you do in that situation, Bill? I How would know. you have tackled? You don't know? Close my Watch, eyes. No, no. <laughs> so it's just all instinct. <laughs> Straight across the tree. Uh, uh, so you just throw you've yourself You've got to put your body in a good position to give him no choice but to come back and to go on the outside. Yeah. And then and then you you try and either get him into touch or you, you make a legs tackle. Uh, James has got himself right in front there. He takes his eyes off yeah. the target. Yeah. If we can see yeah. the front on But him, he doesn't what? have that much room behind yeah. him. So what happens, oh. you've got to get your chin on your chest, but you've still got to have your eyes on the target. That's a really courageous play. Teddy, to Teddy gets to the situation. The last two steps, if we can see it again, he drops his head. Mm. If you're going to make that tackle, you get your chin on your chest and you've got to keep your target where you're going to hit him. He drops his head yeah. and loses... His technique, but his head... Watch, the, so he drops his yeah, head there, takes yeah. his eyes off the, the target. The other thing, like looking at the technical side of the fullback position, the other thing he, he could have done earlier was get in position earlier. Like, like you start anticipating the line break and you're moving across there a lot earlier, so you're not coming Take across... Take your up and, and, you're, and you're not moving as fast right at the contact. So you're actually there, and, and, you, and we saw Dylan Edwards do it a couple of weeks ago, and he does it really well where he's moving early and he gets to the threat as it happens rather than trying to up. rush there late. And then gets there and steadies up. Steadies up and you're not moving as fast. But he wanted to move in front of him. I don't know why he slow, didn't slow down and try well, to invite kick out behind him. to like go for the sideline, yeah. go for the corner post. Well, so he made... needed kick out to go to the corner post and then use his strength to push him out over the sideline. He, he got in front of him. But the rules out. don't allow you to do that. It, mm. You've got to make a conventional tackle. So by the rules, he's done the right thing. It's, it's just put him in a really awkward position. Mm.